Hi everyone, this is Lisa D'Amico. I'm the curator for the Global Garden Virtual Art Exhibit, being hosted by the Cultural Alliance of Western Connecticut. And I have the great pleasure today of interviewing Lauren Krasnoff about her artwork that's in the exhibit. Hi Lauren, how you doing? Hi, I'm good, how are you? Great, now I love your piece for many reasons. Um, but one of the burning questions for me is, the creation of your piece. Yes, it was a it was an interesting process that I like was kind of just getting into and exploring when I was making that piece um, and like a new way of working for me. Now I love the idea of this like meditative inspiration from it. Um, tell me about that and also tell me about the actual creation because I know it's mixed media um, and I'm always fascinated by artist process in terms of yeah. creating the work. So if you don't mind, can we start there? Um, so I, last spring, I was fortunate enough to travel out west um, and do a road trip to a bunch of national parks. And I had never been to California before, but I went to Yosemite and Mirror Woods um, and a few other different spots. And I was super inspired by the landscapes out there because um, I was doing a lot of figurative work. And then like just experiencing that type of landscape kind of, made me think of it in like a bodily way, especially the trees in particular. So I had a ton of sketches that I did on my hikes um, of different landscapes. And at the same time, I was taking a printmaking course and I was doing relief printing. And so while I was traveling, I wanted to like keep up that process and practice. And I was using these like rubber blocks that I was carving like kind of like how you would carve like a linoleum block or a wood block print um but it was just super portable and I could do it like in Airbnbs and stuff so I was working with both the sketches I was doing on my hikes and making these prints and like both processes both like the hiking and the printing like the, kind of like the repetitive aspect of relief printing felt extremely meditative to me so I kind of wanted to combine all those ideas into this painting um, or a series of paintings that I made in this process. Um, and so that's why I called them my meditation paintings. But yeah, so as far as the process itself, I had been working mostly in oil paint um, and I wanted to incorporate the process of relief printing into the work, mostly because of the meditative aspect of it, but also just like I was super interested in patterning and um, I was studying, like I was writing a paper on the um, pattern, feminist pattern decoration movement of the 70s. And there was like a ton of things I was thinking about with that. So I used the rubber, well, first I painted on canvas in acrylic um, paint because it's water-based. And then I, um, use the rubber blocks to carve like different patterns that would fit together like a puzzle kind of and I printed layers of that on top of the painting and then I went back in with oil afterwards and layered oil on there so it was a mix of things but it was a really fun way of working that I've kind of moved away from a little bit but I'm definitely going to incorporate in the future. Yeah I love the textural feel of your painting but also what struck me when I first saw it it has a very quiet grace about it it is comforting in a way that I can't even explain but I want to be around it <laughs> thank you yeah so I want to ask you why did you select this piece for submission in the exhibit I think this piece just kind of encapsulated like especially during COVID, I was just spending so much time outside and like appreciating the outdoors. And then this road trip was the first time I had traveled in so long, but also just like gave me this crazy appreciate appreciation for um, nature. And like in terms of the themes of the exhibition, like I think this piece in particular was kind of like what I related to it most. Lauren, thank you so much for this interview. Thank you so much for participating in the exhibit. Um, I recommend that everyone go to cawct.org and check out Lauren's artwork so you can see and feel what I'm talking about.
And I'll also post Lauren your your like social media and uh, information so that people can follow you on this beautiful journey that you are yeah, that you're on. And I'm just so happy to meet you. And I hope I get to work with you again in the future. Thank you. You too.